بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وآله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد So we continue tonight inshallah ta'ala with the 13th chapter Surah Al-Ra'ad and this chapter has 43 verses and we're told that the name Al-Ra'ad that the meaning behind its name is الصوت القوي الذي يسمع من السحاب that it's that strong sound that is heard up in the clouds which is of course the sound that lightning makes as it uh, tears through the sky um, the reason why it's named this انفراد السورة بذكر صفة التسبيح الرعد because we're told that in this chapter Allah Rabbul العالمين especially mentions and it's found no other place that the uh, that the light, the thunder. Pardon me. That the thunder is a form of praise and thanks to Allahu Rabbul Alamin. It is a form of glorification of remembrance of Allahu Rabbul Alamin. What the lala to had al ismi ala al maqsad al amili surati wa duati has, well as the other focuses within the chapter uh, of what are mentioned within it. We don't know of any other names for this chapter besides Arad. As far as its main objective, بيان الأدلة العديدة على قدرة الله تعالى وتوحيده وعبادته. So the main objective is that in this chapter, Allah Azza wa Jal, He mentions, He states several evidences that are uh, with regards to Allah Taala's abilities and capabilities. So He gives several examples that are evidence for Allah Taala's abilities for his capability subhanahu wa ta'ala as well as the fact that he is one indicating that he is absolutely one unique and that he deserves worship and only he subhanahu sabab nuzuliha we are told that it's a medinan chapter but other than that we don't have any reason for the chapter as a whole or even in some of its verses why they were revealed as far as its merits and virtue, then this is included within those chapters of what's been mentioned that begin with Alif Lam Ra, of what was in the hadith that Abu Dawood narrates, and it is authentic, when he told that man to read from the chapters, to read three chapters that begin with Alif Lam Ra. As far as Munasibatuha, what there is of the beginning of the chapter to the end that shows coherency, we're told. مناسبة أول سورة بآخرها ذكر القرآن الكريم. So the whole context of it is really about the mentioning of the Quran, the Quran itself being mentioned, the focus. فقال سبحانه وتعالى في فاتحتها تلك آيات الكتاب. So Allah Taala begins the chapter by saying these are the verses of the book. وَقَالَ فِي خَاتِمَتِهَا وَمَنْ عِنْدَهُ عِلْمُ الْكِتَابِ And he concludes the chapter saying, and for the person who has knowledge of the book. So the book, the Qur'an, is really in that whole sense the focus. But what about the relationship, the correlation between this chapter of Ra'ad and Yusuf which came before it? We're told, um, قَالَ عَنِ الْقُرْآنِ فِي آخِرِ يُسُفْ عَلَيْهِ السَّلَامِ مَا كَانَ حَدِيثًا يُفْتَرَى We're told that Allah Rabbu Alameen concluded Surah Yusuf saying that this is not some made up speech or made up composed, you know, uh, revelation here. This is not something that is fabricated. وَوَصَفَ الْمُعْرِضِينَ عَنْهُ فِي أَوَّلِ رَعْدِ فَقَالَ أَلِفْ لَا مِمْرَى تِلْكَ آيَاتُ الْكِتَابِ وَالَّذِي أُنزِلَ إِلَيْكَ مِنْ رَبِّكَ الْحَقِّ وَلَكِنَّ أَكْثَرَ النَّاسِ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ And he tells us in the beginning of Surah Al-Ra'ad, speaking about those who are basically rejecting the Qur'an and you know distancing themselves from Allah Ta'ala in His revelation. He says, Alif Lam Mim Ra, these are the verses of the book and that which has come down to you from your Lord of the truth. But most of the people do not believe. So the connection is that those who do not believe, those who are rejecting revelation, who are rejecting Allah Rabbul Alameen by rejecting revelation as well as the messenger that was sent with it. And Allah Azza wa Jal knows best. 
and he is the best. وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد.